This one is about widows. You might know the album Tales from the Thousand Lakes, right? This one is titled
Welcome to Cold Chamber. Um, you played on the Friday night stage, um, and I think you must be satisfied. Oh yeah, I had so much fun up there. The crowd was just absolutely amazing. So much energy everywhere. It was great. Yeah, wasn't it was it? cool. The festival atmosphere has been really cool. We've never experienced anything like this. We played the Ozfest one show, but it was nothing like this. Tents and everything. And uh, our drummer Mikey said, as soon as we get done, it's going to be a rain dance. And you'll see, and as soon as we got done, it just started pouring for like three hours straight. So it was really kind of magical for us. Why the hell did you think that happened to Rain? Oh, I don't know. Maybe Mikey has some certain talents we don't know about. My name is Raina. <laughs> That's right, Raina. <laughs> okay, well, a cliche question to Call Chamber is, um, what do you think about the people that are writing about your album? That, okay, it's just a corn ripoff and whatever, whatever. I would say uh, Korn and us were out at the same time. Our demos were out at the same time. We used to play opposing clubs. Um, same nights. The same nights. I mean, they got, an, they got a, a record deal, and I left the band for about eight or nine months, so it just made us come out a little later. And Korn does their thing with a hip-hop edge. We do our thing a little more spooky core, a little more goth edge. But it's a, quite a compliment. They're yeah, great friends of ours. And yeah, definitely rather be compared to Korn than, say, another band like Bush or somebody who yeah, we don't even, you know. you know. Every band that comes out, gets compared to somebody in the beginning, especially when somebody's reviewing the album for people who've never heard it before. Yes, especially so. to be compared to friends of ours and uh, an L.A. music scene. You have to understand it's a culture of tuned down heavy music in L.A. right now. There's 30 bands doing it. Plenty more to come. Plenty more to come, you know. So they can't use that cliche for everything. And then they see the live show, it'll, it sets us apart, we feel. There are also a lot of people going like, okay, maybe there will be a new vibe of uh, Bay Area real metal, the, the cliche stuff from the, from the 80s. Can you, can you have... I don't know about any kind of cliché, because cliché is a bad terminology, but I think that Skin Lab is from there, and uh, they were on tour with us in Machine Head, they're from the Bay Area, and I think they crush anything. So it, they, and by no means, are cliché. Yeah. No, I meant the, the, the older ones. I mean, over here you have like Testament, Exodus, etc. Well, I mean, we always have loved all that music anyways. I don't know about going away or dying out or any of that. It's always just been Be music. Be yourself, yeah. and play the music that makes you happy. Yeah, you, you know, have play to. Play from your heart. Yeah, you have to appreciate people who stay true to, to their thing, you know. I'm sure in 15 years when I'm still putting on makeup and nail polish, people are going to be saying something to me, but you just have to stay true to yourself. What you grew up with as your influences as well. Does this mu music make you guys happy? Yeah, it makes you real happy. What? 